C'est ça, that's it, whatever, okay. Oh, it's also got je m'en fous, good. And notice in brackets it's got très familier, très familier, okay. While we're there with familier, there's a lot of words which end in an R, and I'm hearing a lot of you in my private classes pronouncing these. So, um, a great guy I work with called Richard will always say in particular, we'll say en particulière. Okay, remember, the masculine R doesn't get pronounced if there's no E after it. So, le premier, uh, the first, uh, familier, particulier. Okay, obviously the feminine, particulièrement, will have the E, or enfin, une, quelque chose de particulier. You know. Um, une femme très particulière, uh, but otherwise, no, okay? You want to go swimming, whatever, tu veux aller nager, ça m'est égal, I don't mind, si tu veux, yeah, whatever, okay? Comme tu veux, I hear comme tu veux. What do you want to eat? Chicken, beef, comme tu veux, whatever, okay? So, um... Yeah, le peu. Now, this is a nice one. The team selection destroyed whatever respect the coach still had. God, that's deep. That's, that's deep. Okay? It would be the small amount of respect, le peu. Okay? Um, the little respect, le peu de respect qu'il restait. Okay? Uh, now, we're back on to our n'importe again. Uh, whatever, uh, you need to pick a shirt of whatever color you like. Uh, tu dois choisir une chemise de n'importe quelle couleur. It doesn't matter what the color. N'importe qui, n'importe quand, n'importe comment. It doesn't matter how. N'importe quelle couleur. It doesn't matter which color. So we're really getting this n'importe business down, okay? Uh, tu dois cho choisir une chemise de la couleur qui te plaît. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, fine. Okay, uh... You can eat whatever is in the refrigerator now. Now, now, now. This is a useful one because what have we talked about before for whatever? Uh, for whatever. What have we talked about before with the word whatever? Anything, you know, you know tout ce que. Tout ce que. But what did we stress the indifference was between ce que and ce qui? Ce que is when somebody new is coming in after. Okay, so um, I like um, everything he says. J'aime I, Luke. Yeah, Mr. Green T-shirt. Actually getting a bit big, needs, needs replacing. Tout ce que Luc dit, or tout ce que je dis, or whatever kind of thing, there's then going to be an object coming after, a subject, sorry, somebody doing the verb, coming after the, the, the tout ce que phrase. Okay? Tout ce que je dis, everything I say, there's a person. If you go from the tout something que phrase straight into a verb, so you can eat whatever is in the fridge. When you're going straight into that verb, we know this, when you go straight into a verb, you say ce qui. So what is fantastic about living in France? Ce qui est. Because there's no what Luke is wearing, what Jonathan is saying, what, you know, Craig is writing. There's none of that. You are just saying what um, you are saying what whatever is in the fridge so there's no new subject introduced so tu peux manger tout ce qui est dans le réfrigérateur who's written um, le frigo we tend to say le frigo okay so the point is uh, le frigière as well who's written that word anyway never mind i think this might be some canadian entries so the fact is uh, tout ce qui now you're just going to get used to saying tout ce qui est on verbs which happen so tout ce qui se passe Tout ce qui est, uh, you're going to get used to using this ce qui when you're not using a verb which uh, really requires a new person. So tout ce que Luc dit, dit is a verb which somebody says, somebody does, somebody, you know, so I need a character. Tout ce que Luc dit, tout ce que Callum dit, tout ce que son prof de merde dit, whatever, okay? Lovely. Lovely. However, again, step one. What are you saying? You can do it however you want to. Okay, what is that actually basically saying? In any way. So we could say, again, I'm going to just slightly edit the notes order here and come up with my shortened version of this. You can do it however you want. Tu peux le faire comme tu veux. Yeah? Uh, n'importe comment. It doesn't matter how. Tu peux le faire n'importe comment. Uh, 
tu peux le faire de n'importe quelle manière. It doesn't matter which manner, n'importe quelle couleur we had. So we've had that, okay? It doesn't matter which way, it doesn't matter which color, n'importe quelle co uh, couleur, n'importe quelle manière. Okay? Now let's go through the formal ones. So you can do it, and I don't mean formal as in these are better, I mean as in these are the ones that were written down. So you can do it however you want to, just do it. Tu peux le faire, just do it. Tu peux faire, tu peux, you can do it. Tu peux le faire, comme tu veux, would be better. C'est ce que, ce que tu le fais. Um, what it's saying there is, uh, the important thing is that you do it. Okay, so you can do it. Have, the second bit isn't of interest to you, the word however. Okay. Peu importe. So, uh, so we've either got, it doesn't matter, so n'importe, then into the thing, then into the, um, so it doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter when, into the interrogative, into the questioning word, or of no importance, the way you do it. Okay, so for example, um, peu importe comment, peu importe comment, uh, or n'importe comment. Okay, so it's saying it doesn't matter how, or of little importance how. Subtly different, but the same idea. Peu importe comment, n'importe comment. I personally use n'importe comment, yeah? Uh, with, before a, a questioning word. So n'importe comment, n'importe qui, n'importe quand. Get those in your mouth. And I use peu importe on its own. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter, peu importe, yeah? Again, whatever it be, Subjunctive, hypothetical, the way. So, quel que ce soit, uh, quel que soit la, la manière de, quel que soit la façon de, okay, de quelque façon que, yeah. Uh, fine, fine, fine. We're really struggling to deliberately use the subjunctive there on purpose, though, which is fine if you want that for the uh, exam. And that's one of the ones you just want to have down and ready. Okay, so. Um, whatever manner the government try and solve this problem, so that would be one you could just have ready. So, for example, if you're talking about smoking, or young people on mobile phones, or underage drinking, or whatever, you know, if you just have what that be the manner, quelle que soit la manière, okay? Or we can have quoi que ce soit comme manière, whatever it might be as um, the way, manière being, being way here, okay? So, uh, yeah, he always looks good, however he dresses. Uh, il a toujours l'air beau, peu importe comment, we've had that before, or uh, peu importe la façon dont, the, fa the way in which, okay? Um, it's la façon dont il s'habille, okay? Uh, uh, now, What's important about this for me would be, however he dresses, go around this. He always looks good, however he dresses. Um, uh, what could you do as a way around this if you needed to say, he always looks good, however he dresses. Yeah, um, his way of dressing doesn't change it, doesn't change things. He's always handsome. Sa façon de s'habiller ne change pas grand chose, ne le change pas. There are other ways round it if you didn't remember these structures, okay? Uh, again, whatever it be, his way hypothetically, hypothetically subjunctive, il a toujours l'air beau, quelle que soit la façon ou sa façon uh, dont il s'habille. Now, you might be thinking, why have we got a don there? But if you think, how do you say anyway? Well, anyway, de toute façon, de toute manière. Listen to the word, de, 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 de. So when you have a de in your sentence, of any way, then when you reverse it, the de becomes a don, doesn't it? We've had that before. J'ai besoin d'une femme, la femme dont j'ai besoin. Okay? So, il a toujours l'air beau, peu importe comment, euh, quel que ce soit, quelle que soit la, sa façon, ou la façon, I prefer sa façon, quelle que soit sa façon, euh, la façon, oh ouais, c'est la façon dont il s'habille, ok, you can't have sa façon of which, it has to be the way of which, la façon dont il s'habille, ok, these are really pushing it to be formal, so de quelque façon que, que vous lui appreniez la nouvelle, uh, ok, so, again, in whichever way you might teach him the news, ok, uh, subjunctive, subjunctive, subjunctive. So, de quelque façon ou manière que vous lui subjunctive. Because you're not currently 
teaching him, learning him, informing him of the news, um, uh, um, or her in this place, case, okay, de quelque façon que vous lui uh, appreniez la nouvelle. So let's do this. De quelque façon, de quelque manière que le gouvernement le fasse, would be another one. Um, whichever way you say it, uh, whatever you say, quoi que tu dises, ou de quelque façon que tu le dises, whatever, okay. Uh, lovely. Soit-il is, uh, yeah, more adjectival, um, to whatever degree. If it be the case that, si soit-il, you know, um, uh, Um, we can't accept any error, however small it may be. Yeah? Nous ne pouvons accepter. Now, this is more formal. This is a form of French where you don't use pas after pouvoir. So, this is going to throw a lot of you. But if you go to pouvoir without ne into Google, this will bring this up for you. In very. Um, uh, this is because we've got the aucun on the aucune uh, in this situation. So, as you know, you don't need the pas, okay? Uh, j'ai pas d'argent, je n'ai aucun argent, okay? So, in this case, because of aucun and aucune. But this, uh, using pouvoir without the pas, is something you should Google anyway, because um, in very formal French and poetry, you will read this. But in this case, it's because of the aucun and aucune. So, we can't accept, allow any error. So, on peut, on ne peut, what are we saying? Nous ne pouvons accepter aucune erreur. Si petite soit-elle, however small it might, it might be. Can you hear the word might? Si petite soit-elle, okay? Nous ne pouvons accepter aucune erreur, même petite, even a small one. Well, that's easy to say, okay? Uh, now, uh, it was very expensive travelling to visit my sister and her family. However, now this is when you are using the word however on its own as a connector, a connective. So that is one that we talk about a lot in essay style. However, so we've got par contre. Pourtant, which isn't actually down here, toutefois, néanmoins, cependant, lovely one, cependant. Uh, so, it was very expensive travelling to visit my sister and her family, however, it was completely worth, the, it, was completely worth it. Ça m'a coûté, notice the accent on coûté, ça m'a coûté très cher, notice the accent on très, d'aller voir ma sœur et sa famille, cependant, cela... Now, all of these tricks are coming out in this. Um, I'm glad you're seeing in this video, the level of formality to which French can ascend, okay? So you know the expression to be worth the effort, ça vaut la peine, or ça en vaut la peine. Um, uh, and I've talked before that in an essay you can swap ça for cela, because it's a more formal version, okay? Notice we don't need the accent on the C of cela, even though we had it on the C of ça, because cela has an E after it, which is a stronger vowel in French. So, so ça m'a coûté très cher d'aller voir ma sœur et sa famille, cependant, cela en valait vraiment la peine, okay? However, on the other hand, en revanche is another one, great one. These are words you just must use. Before we try and learn subjunctive, quoi que ce soit, style phrases, just get these connectors, connectives down, okay? So it's a good idea, um, what have we got? C'est une bonne idée, cependant, toutefois, je ne crois pas que nous ayons assez d'argent pour le, la financer. So it's a good idea, however, I don't think we've got enough money to finance it. Notice, because we don't believe we have, you, you don't have. So you can't, you can't, in the indicative way, say we have, because you don't, okay? So je ne crois pas que nous ayons, ou je ne crois pas qu'on ait assez d'argent pour la financer, okay? Get financer in your mouth, because that's the verb to finance, as opposed to financier or financier with an I-E-R, which is financial, okay? We don't say financial or anything, okay? Uh, however did you find us? Just how? How, therefore, did you find us, okay? Lovely. So those are the... That's a little run-through through most of what we want. The ones I really want to signal at the end as ones to kind of stick to are... As you could possibly guess, are the categories with the subjunctive, the categories with the put and port or the nanport, the computer is now making a noise, which is going to annoy you. So, um, shush. So, uh, whatever I do, the computer will be noisy. Quoi que je fasse, quoi que je fasse, okay? Uh, 
peu importe, doesn't matter which, peu importe, doesn't matter which method 